Are submarines waterproof? The answer to this is yes and no. Because to anyone on a submarine, it is waterproof because you stay dry. And yet, a submarine has to leak in a controlled sort of way, otherwise it wouldn't be able to dive, dive, dive. A bit of basic theory. All ships and boats, and in fact anything else that floats on water, does so because of something called buoyancy. That seems pretty obvious, but actually it's a little bit mathematical. Take a regular cargo ship. It floats at the point where the weight of the water it displaces is equal to the weight of the ship itself. So put a bit more cargo on board and it will sit lower in the water, because it weighs more, so has to displace a bit more water. Put too much cargo on board and it will sink because the maximum volume of water it can displace still weighs less than the ship and all its cargo. Now you can experiment with this very easily doing the washing up, unless you have a dishwasher, in which case you will remain ignorant. All of this was worked out by Archimedes some 2,100 years ago. That was the original Eureka moment. That's what he shouted when running naked through the streets, having worked it all out. Submarines are a bit trickier. They have to float, displace their own weight in water, but also sink, displace less than their own weight in water. So a submarine is in effect two ships with two hulls, one inside the other. On the surface, the outer hull displaces enough water to keep it afloat, but if you flood that with water, the inner hull becomes the ship and isn't big enough to displace enough water, so down we go. That, in effect, is a controlled sinking. It's like punching a hole in a toy boat in the bath. But the submarine has to come up again. To do this, the outer hull is filled with compressed air from on board. Now that is effectively the ship again. So up it comes. So unlike destroyers, submarines have two quoted displacements or weights. A Trafalgar class killer sub weighs 4,800 tonnes on the surface, but 5,300 tonnes when submerged. In reality, of course, it's a bit more complicated than this. The outer hull contains big ballast tanks and much smaller trim tanks. The ballast tanks deal with the basic business of sinking. The trim tanks are used to correct the attitude of the submarine so that it stays level underwater and doesn't go, for example, nose down, which would mean all the crew's food would fall off their plates. By carefully controlling the flooding of the tanks, the submarine can achieve neutral buoyancy. That is, it displaces exactly the weight of the water around it, and then it can continue at a precisely controlled depth. So, a submarine is a deliberately sinkable ship, but it contains within it a perfectly waterproof one, because otherwise, obviously, the crew would drown and their mobile phones would be damaged beyond repair under the terms of the warranty. Because, weirdly, mobile phones aren't waterproof. If you've enjoyed this discussion on leaky submarines, why not subscribe? Dive, dive, dive your index finger to this button somewhere around here, I believe. Torpedo loss. <laughs>